Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, and I'm here to talk you through the Hasselblad Focus software for the Hasselblad cameras. This is the software that you use for shooting tethered or importing your raw files for processing your raw files. There's a lot of functionality uh, in this incredible piece of software. I'm gonna guide you through the software interface, give you an overview of the main tools, and then go into some of the uh, specifics about importing, exporting files, scene calibration, and some of the uh, sort of specialist areas as well. So let's get started with looking at the main focus interface and an explanation of the main tool set. So as you can see here, I have a number of files from a shoot loaded in on the left hand side as thumbnails and I can navigate through uh, these image files simply by clicking on them or I can use my arrow keys on my keyboard. Now you may have noticed actually that I'm working with a two screen setup here with a laptop and with uh, my main screen. Now for the purpose of this uh, tutorial or walkthrough, I'm just going to use focus in the single screen setup and we're recording that single screen so you can see what's going on. But I actually commonly use focus in a dual screen setup where I have my thumbnails and panels and adjustment panels on one screen and then I have a full screen image on the other screen. That's very easy to do if you simply use uh, the window command and say viewer in separate window, that will give you a dual screen setup. But for the purpose of today's walkthrough, we're going to use the single screen setup. So, as I said, the images are already imported on this because these were shot tethered from the H6 camera, tethered into focus. And I can navigate through the images. You can see that the images uh, have a color coding on them. At the moment, they've all got a green dot assigned to the images. And this is just uh, basically a way of rating your images. So for example, if I decided that this particular image I wanted to rate at a higher uh, level, I could rate that with an orange or yellow dot, sorry, uh, by pressing number seven, or I can rate it as an eight, which would give it a red dot. And then I can use the uh, color codes up here to differentiate the files so that I can look at just selected ones with either a yellow dot or a red dot or all of them, etc., etc. Now, many of you may also be familiar with the star rating system. The star rating system is very simple. Again, you just press the number, so I press three, and that gives it three stars. And I can differentiate or rate all my images from zero stars through one, two, three, four, five, and then look at them and view, at them, uh, view them based on that star rating by selecting the number of stars up here. So this is a great way to filter your images when you're organizing your files and trying to decide which files uh, you want to work with. There's also a comparison tool, uh, but we're coming on to that a little bit later.